Hello and welcome to my video lesson 5.3 on graphing um, or scatter plots and linear regression. Okay, so the key here for 5.3 is we're talking about uh, linear regression. So this is a linear, oops, there you go, uh, linear functions. Um, and then 5.4, we're doing the exact same thing as 5.3, except that we're looking at other types of re regression. So if you're uh, looking at for the other ones, go to 5.4. All right, so here I'm going to do the first example right away really quickly and show you guys what this looks like. Jimmy wants to drive to Calgary, um, which is 300 kilometers away from Edmonton, using the data, whoops, I should say data, uh, from his recent trip to Saskatoon, assuming he does roughly the same speed, when will he get there? Um, so there's a little bit, uh, a little bit of a word problem going on. Um, so Basically, we need to plug this in to, um, to our function. So first of all, I'm going to whoops, clear all that. I don't really care about any of this. So I can get rid of that. Um, and I'm going to go to second function stat plot. You see here in the corner, it says stat plot. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Stat plot. So I want to make my first plot on. So let's turn that on. And so now we can go to uh, back to the graph. Oh, we're going to have some sort of error. So we want to go to stat, edit, and we're going to start filling in our lines. So first of all, our x values are our x values go in L1, y values go in L2, I believe. So let's just plug that in. So one, enter, two, enter, three, enter, four. Enter 5, enter. Pretty straightforward. Then we click to the right and we plug in the other values 109, enter 215, enter 323, enter 411, enter 519, enter. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, we can try graphing, uh, but it's not going to necessarily show us what we want. We only have one data point. So what we do is we press zoom. And then we want to go to zoom stat, which is zoom nine. And so what it's doing here is it's actually just uh, making our window um, exactly some useful data points. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to adjust a little bit. So our, our x minimum is zero. Our y minimum is zero as well. Um, and x max, let's go with uh, let's go with. Six, so it's a nice even number, goes up by one. And if this is a, a big number here, I can just make it a nice even number as well and make it go up by 25. Okay, so now we can see we have a little bit nicer of a, of a graph and we have some points and it looks like a straight line. It's not perfect. You can see there's a little bit of a wave to it. Um, however, we can figure out what the line is, the linear regression is. So what we do is we press stat, we go over to calc on the top, we go down to linear regression, that's number four, we press enter or we can press number four. Then we go down to where it says store and we're going to click vars, which is variables. We're going to go to y vars, which is y variables, function. And we're going to put the first function. So it's going to store what it gets now in for our uh, first function. So I'll show you what that means in a second. We're going to press calculate. Okay, so it just got us a linear regression uh, or a linear function. So this is showing y equals ax plus b. And it tells us that a is 101.6 and b is 10.6. So what we can do here is instead of writing a and b, we can actually write the values. So 101.6x plus b, which is 10.6. Okay, and so this is our function. Okay, and uh, this is just a rough analysis. Okay, uh, but if the distance, if the distance is 300. Um, we're looking for the x value at that point. So now let's take a look back here and see, oh, it actually wrote out right in y1 that same 
uh, function. And the reason why is because we stored it as y1. So it's there already. Now let's go down to y2. And because we're, we're looking at the y value here of 300, we can uh, plug that right in. And we're going to find a new line that's going to try to hit that. So now you can see that there are two lines. The 300 line is marked. And so we just need to read down here. So it's going to be somewhere around, um, I think we went by, what do we go? Oh, just by one. So it's going to be about two, almost three hours. Uh, but let's figure out exactly. So we're going to press second function calc, go to intersect. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to click yes. Blue is the first curve. It's asking us the question down here. Is the first curve this curve, the one that it's highlighted with the, with the, uh, with the dot? Yes, it is. It's also blue, so we can press enter. And the red one, is that right? Yes, it is, so we can press enter. And then we go to guess, and we try to hit that data point where it's going to meet. So we're going to press enter here, and that is our intersection. So where is it that those two points, uh, where is it does those two lines line up? Or how long would it take to get to Calgary going roughly this speed? 2.85 uh, hours. Okay, assuming the same speed, roughly speaking. Um, now why is this 10.6 this there? Well, probably he started his trip at a gas station in Edmonton, or his house is on one side or the other, uh, whereas this measurement um, is to the center. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Close enough. All right. So now, with all that in mind, you should try it out. So pause the video and try this question. All right. Hopefully, you were able to try the question. I'm going to clear the values here and um, all of the values, uh, delete, 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 delete. And we're going to go to this one, delete, 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 delete. And now I'm going to start plugging it in. So three, uh, enter, six, enter, eight, enter, nine, enter, 11, enter to the right. And now three, 56, enter, 12, 45, enter, 1846, enter, 2134, enter, 2778, uh, 779, enter. Okay, so now we have some data. Now I click zoom nine. Remember, this is the statistical zoom. So it's, it's zooming so that we can see um, all of our data on our graph. Um, something you could also just do is zoom fit, which is uh, oh, all the way here, zoom zero. So it fits. Um, and then you can just adjust your, you can always do that, and then adjust your window to match. So we want this to start at, um, at zero. We want this to actually go all the way to 12. It looks like uh, going up by one is fine. Start at zero, and then Looks like we can probably just end right at, at 3,000. Maybe go up by 100? That might not be enough. Maybe 200. OK, yeah. So we just adjusted a little bit. But zoom 0 is a really helpful function. OK, so if you can't see your data on the graph that you have, press zoom and then press 0. Really, really important. Okay, so here we have ourselves some data. We're going to press stat, calc. We're going to go down to, oh, whoops, to linear regression. So find the equation for the above table values. That's what we're doing right now. We're going to go down to store, and we're going to store a variable. We're going to store as a function, and that's y1. We're going to calculate, and here it gives us our function. Here it also puts our function, and here it graphs, it graphs our function. So if you're not sure what the function is, it's y equals 301.5, and we'll just leave it there. Um, 
and then I think it's just negative, yeah, minus 559.3. We'll leave it there. Okay, it's close enough. Okay, graph the following. So we've done that. Uh, find where y is 500. So just to do that, we put y equals 500. We graph. And then we look for the intersect. So we do calc intersect. Um, it's fine to choose first curve, second curve, but your guess you should try to get close. Okay, and it tells us that where y is that, x equals 3.51. Okay, it just says it right down here. And then we have to do the other way around. So what is y when x is this? Uh, there's two different ways of doing it, but once you already have it all plugged in like this, the best way of doing it is to go second function uh, table set, and you can leave it as is oftentimes, but if not, you might want to uh, take a look at that. Second function table, and now you can go down and uh, find where x is that value, what is your y, and in this case it says it's 2,456. All right, so I hope that video helps you understand um, graphing and linear regression a little bit better. Good luck, everyone, and have a nice day. Bye.